Okay, here we have a question of simplifying thirds in a ratio. Um, at the start of this question, you might be thinking, well, I'm not sure what to do here, but when you see thirds, probably the best approach to start with is to simplify them. So the square root of 12, what we need to think about here is square numbers. So our square numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81 and 100 are usually the ones we use. So what square number goes into 12? Well 4 does 3 times. So the square root of 12 is the square root of 4 times 3. And if we separate those out, we get the square root of 4 times um, the square root of 3, which is 2 root 3. Now if all these are in terms of root 3, we can just cancel 3 by root 3 and get the answer. Um, square root of 48, um, thinking about what we've got already, maybe it's 3 times something. Uh, 3 times 16 makes 48. Now you might not have spotted that straight away, so if you did know it was 4, you would get to a point and then, then cancel it down a bit more. But it helps if you can spot straight away that that's just going to be 16, 3, so we get 4 root 3. And the square root of 300 um, is 100 times 3. That's a nice straightforward one. So we've got the square root of 100 times the square root of 3, which is 10 root 3. So each of these can be written in these forms. So that's the same as 2 to the 4 to 10, um, because we can just divide through by the square root of 3. And then we can see here that this can be cancelled down again by halving each one. We're going to get 1 to 2 to 5 for 3 marks.